Hi, I'm Kyra Limbaha and today we'll be looking at the Carl Zeiss Yena Sona 135mm f3.5. Carl Zeiss Yena lenses are some of the most affordable Zeiss lenses you can get, and they have a very interesting history, which we won't get into too much detail, but in a nutshell, the Zeiss company was founded in Yena, Germany. However, Yena was in East Germany and after World War II, the company split in half. One part in West Germany and the other remaining in its original home as part of Communist East Germany. Yep, that's why they're cheaper. Like the Soviet and Ukrainian lenses and cameras, this lens is a communist era lens. The 135mm is very easy to find on eBay at very reasonable prices. I was actually very lucky and got mine together with a Zeiss Yena 50mm 2.8 and Pentacon 28mm for less than 80 US dollars altogether. Although you might not be so lucky, you can always try. 135mm lenses are a size that I don't use that often, but every once in a while I'll need this kind of telephoto lens, such as in this video for Bonia highlighting an artist that does incredibly detailed photo reel work with a pencil. This lens was great for capturing the minute details of her work, and as it's a very light and compact telephoto lens, it's easier to use without any support rods compared to other telephoto lenses, which tend to capture every little vibration and focus pull when you're using them on video. Though it's not very fast at f3.5, with the telephoto lens of this range there's plenty of creamy bokeh and even wide open there's still a lot of sharpness and detail. If you have the space it's also a great lens for shooting interviews, keeping the subject in focus with plenty of bokeh and separation behind. I also enjoy this lens a lot for photography. These photos were taken during the Latin American festival a few years ago here in Malaysia. In the middle of one of the dance showcases it started raining but it didn't stop the dancers and even from a distance I could get some great tight shots and at f3.5 it was quite easy to focus on the subjects. I've also used it sometimes for skate photography to give a nice separation of the subject and background. And of course I've also used it for some portrait photography. As much as I like this lens, it's not one that I use frequently, and even though the f3.5 aperture is sufficient, I would prefer it to be a bit faster. However, for the price, I can't complain. Zeiss lenses, even these communist Yena ones, have a very unique look that's both quite neutral yet vibrant, which I really like and I think you'll like too. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video was informative if you're thinking of getting one of these Zeiss Yena lenses. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks.